have been very fortunate to work with the core team uh, leading into Tokyo Olympics and we came away with a gold medal and with a good margin um, and that wouldn't have been possible without a really strong team behind us that we worked with both on the suit side but also on the heat side. I think in the beginning with all different sensors uh, if you're an age group or a professional is that you don't just uh, buy a sensor and then you change your training straight away like you want to have it like I like to have it on my computer when I uh, implement something new I have it on the computer together with all my other numbers that I'm used to like my heart rate the power the torque efficiency the moxie and like all those numbers and then you see how in the beginning how the numbers is moving around like uh, and then you try to like see how they are correlating to each other and then after a couple of weeks you try to see like patterns of how it's uh, the going compared to the others. So the core just to touch us on the heart rate belt and it's yeah super small and lightweight and uh, for me it's always on this one I don't have to take it off to charge it so I'll just leave it there and uh, connects easily to my Garmin so it's always connected while I'm training. I mostly use it uh, directly on the Garmin device. So then I have uh, one uh, data field up there and then I see the, the core temperature for my whole ride. Usually it starts around yeah, 37.8, somewhere around that area. And depending on the day and the intensity and the duration, it goes up towards uh, 39, seldom over because uh, then you get into heat training um, yeah, uh, area. So uh, you would see it rapidly increase when you go hard uphill on the bike, for example. But this is something you will get used to quite quickly when you start using the core device. And for example, in Kona, I was again wearing the core uh, sensor uh, during both the acclimation phase but also in the race and it's even though it was quite warm in alley drive in the first I would say 15k of the run so you can see here uh, the temperature doesn't really increase uh, much in the beginning and I'm getting all the way up to the airport uh, at around 30k 12k 15k to go again and um, you can see here from the airport and on the way back home you can see how my core temperature is just going through the roof and that's also because uh, we got into a section where it was uh, headwind and uh, more difficult to do cooling. Uh, talk us through your heat protocol, whatever you can talk about. So talking about our heat protocol, uh, I think that is to be disclosed either very close to the Olympics or just after the Olympics. Uh, but what I can say, um, and this is also continuous development, it's not like we, we are stationed and we are satisfied with what we have done. We have still, we have learned so much that we know and we are looking at basically how we can even incorporate the learnings to even advance it even further. Uh, because we will up the game in Paris. Uh, we don't think what we did in Tokyo will be good enough for Paris, at least not for us. Mm -hmm.